So, this is it. Day 100, back at the beginning. Um, I really wanted to make this day special and I'm really glad that the weather cleared up for today. And I'm gonna be painting what I painted the first day. I really try to think about something nice and profound to talk about or say while I'm here because in a moment I'm gonna be behind the camera voiceovering but for now this is all I have <laughs> I had felt a little bit constrained by the format that I chose of sharing um, sorry that's some noisy guys over there some teenagers I got a bit distracted with the, the noise um, but yeah I'm I was feeling very restricted with the type of content that I was making or just like you know faceless but I want it to be more uh, personal more um, interactive and different as well so um, yeah I feel like they're looking at me <laughs> it feels super awkward to do this outdoors but it's also nice I'm very excited about the future of this channel there's uh, many things that I want to do with video and also being able to spend more than just one day on each video uh, even though it took a lot of time to make each and every one of the videos uh, it's just gonna be great or it's gonna be terrible <laughs> who knows we'll find out being back where it all started is kind of surreal it's kind of nostalgic in a way as well and funny enough I find it very interesting that the weather is almost exactly the same as the first day the only difference is that I did uh, record that day a little bit earlier in the day but today I recorded this after I um, I was done with work so I don't know it, it almost feels like full circle and I felt like um, as I was saying, I, I, the whole day I spent thinking, oh, how am I going to record this? What am I going to say? What am I going to do? And I thought to myself, it's just like every good story. Like the ending and the beginning are like opposites. But I mean, it doesn't always have to be that way. At least that's what I'm learning about storytelling. And I thought to myself, oh, maybe I can just go to the same place that I where I started sit in the same spot almost because I didn't really remember where I sat I just knew that I painted this house in the first day and in other days as well but that's where it began so I was like yeah let's just go there speak into the camera because I also kind of miss that I, I do want to be in front of the camera because I want to have a better connection with my audience which is you and as I said before, spending more time in the thinking phase of each video, coming up with like good ideas or, I don't know, interesting things to film or paint or draw because I'm going to be going into a project of getting better at drawing because I think that it's such an essential skill. I'm going to be doing lives, uh, hopefully some of you will want to join those and hang out with me while I paint or explain something that I'm doing. Um, there's so many things <laughs> that are in my mind, but I felt like I was so restricted by this format of me just showing you guys what I was like painting in the day and then just getting to paint and you just see my like whatever I'm painting. And of course, you guys enjoyed it. I mean, <laughs> That's how I just got from, I went from, I think it was 300 something subscribers to now 2,310 subscribers as of the, when I'm recording this video. It's just insane. I mean, I honestly thought that I was gonna be doing this for a year or two, and then maybe, maybe I would be at 1,000. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I did something right. <laughs> uh, of course, I, I, I'm not taking that for granted. I want to keep improving and also doing uh, better things, uh, better videos as well. Some more storytelling, as I have mentioned before. Some more, um, yeah, personal. 
I just feel like there's so much noise out there in YouTube at the moment. Uh, I don't want to overly edit anything. I just want things to just make sense and a little bit like slow down and yeah, just enjoy life. Just enjoy the good moments. Uh, try to capture moments in my life that probably I will want to look back into. And also, well, capturing the um, and documenting the, my progress in my art journey. Because I know, even though I don't want to teach anybody how to paint or how to draw, I still want to share like the things that I learned because I mean why not if somebody wants to learn how to draw or how to paint and I can help them somehow by them watching either the video or me just sharing something that really made the difference for me when I was learning how to paint or draw I mean yeah that's that's the life <laughs> and yeah but I definitely don't want to teach anybody um, how to paint and it's not that I hate people or anything it's quite the contrary I love sharing it's just I don't I feel a complete imposter and I don't think I have the skills maybe down the line maybe in 10 years if that's something that I want to do um, but yeah for now I think I'm happy just sharing my journey and also sharing things that I learn and learning more storytelling, either either visual storytelling or also just by speaking like I'm doing now. Of course, this is not a story. This is me just blabbering. And I've heard that a lot of people like when I blabber. So, and that's the reason why they subscribed. And if you know who I'm talking about, then like this video. Of course, you were going to do that anyway, because you're a dedicated subscriber and you were seven minutes into this video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's actually pretty cool that this project is over. I love I love doing personal projects like this, pushing myself to new limits, pushing. Uh, I mean, the thing is, what you guys don't realize is that I didn't just learn how to paint or or paint um, light and color I also started this YouTube journey and there's so much to learn as well on, on this end on this other end that you guys don't see that I even thought about that I'm gonna start a new channel which I talk about that I just love talking about journeys it's just the best thing ever <laughs> and also people like it and it, it's valuable for some people so yeah why not uh, so yeah I didn't just learn how to paint I learned how to be a youtuber I'm monetized and it's all thanks to you guys there's nothing I could have been or done without you so thank you very much for your attention and your time and your encouragement as well um, I am offering the subscription to this channel and it's more like a small donation based like monthly thing just to support my channel like if you don't want to support me that's fine I'm not going to ask you for money this uh, is more if, if you want to and I'm not gonna be making anything behind a paywall like with that subscription because I've heard many of you have had experiences with paid subscriptions and we're not very happy from patreon and stuff and I, I have also feel like sometimes paying for a subscription is not the best thing. But if you want to support, it, there's that option as well as there's the, th I think the thanks button or super thanks that you can just make a one-time donation. That's also cool. And if not, just keep watching the videos. That's also enough. <laughs> like them, subscribe, to, uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed and you're nine minutes into this video, what are you doing with your life? I mean, come on, stop lying to yourself. You like my content, just subscribe. And that's a lot of call to actions. And I know it's not the right thing to do. That's not the YouTube things that I should do. Like that's too many, but I don't care. I am not here to be the same as everybody else. I'm here to be myself. 
I'm here to share that with you. And I hope that you like that. And I know you are because you are, as I said, 10 minutes into this video and I'm just rambling again, but that's what you're subscribed for. <laughs> anyway, this has been an amazing, amazing journey. Lots of up and downs, left and rights. I mean, that's how life is, right? It's just so delicious. There's so much bittersweetness about ending something. I really enjoyed every single moment of it. And I, th I hope that you did too. Now I'm gonna go back into the camera so you, I can say my final goodbyes for this project. Can't believe it's over. Oh, I, I'm out of words, to be honest. There's uh, nothing I can really say to explain how good it feels to be done, but also how happy I feel to move on to the next thing. There you go, day 100. I hope you enjoyed this series, I certainly did. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.